Hi, Yarnabees. It is Thursday. I think it's the 4th. <laughs> oh, I got my phone right here. Let's see. It is, oh, it's the 5th. Wow, already? Already. <sighs> Winter's upon us. Oh, well, more crocheting. Um, I don't have a lot to talk about today, but I, I miss you guys and I, you know, I've been getting so many messages. I got, gosh, it's got to be about 150 uh, messages on my last um, video for the giveaway, I think it is. Um, it's just been absolutely insane the amount of comments and everything that have been coming through has just been oh wow there's been 242 views on my giveaway video <laughs> wow well that's a chart breaker for me <laughs> thank you guys so much uh it means a lot to me to know that my giveaways um, mean a lot to you so yay I'm glad you like it um, oh yes Bailey mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, let's see what's in my cup today I have my oh, my my Nanaimo cup uh, oh that's good I, I just bought this yesterday it's from Stash. It's tea. The tea stash. And herbal tea. Caffeine free. It's called Spice Dragon Red Chai. Cinnamony and what the heck is in here? Cinnamon, rubus, ginger root, and clove. Ah, uh, that's why I like it. I love anything clove. Oh, yeah, clove is like big, big for me, <laughs> which is weird. I, yeah, anything that has clove in it or pumpkin spice kind of stuff, you know, it's just like mm, big, big for me. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have one finished object and one whip. This is the finished object. Here we go. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Yep. I decided I'm going to start putting my tags on it because, well, why not? So, yeah. I, I love it. I'm not like a pinky, ready, pink and red kind of person at all, but I think this turned out really well. Uh, I was really happy and it didn't take me very long to do. This is the, the Bag o' Day um, cowl. Oh, sorry guys. It's the bag of day cowl that I did before. I'll leave a link down below. I used, of course, Karen Latte <laughs> in the, um, color Claret. It's all messed up now because <laughs> I used some, but yeah. And now my whip, I'm making a slouchy hat to go with this so I'll be working on that today uh, went to the mailbox nothing there wah, wah. but that's okay that's okay you know if you guys want to just drop me a postcard I'd be happy with that you know just something to say hi <laughs> you know that would be really nice Actually, yeah, that would be really nice. A postcard from everybody where everybody lives. Because you know how George was saying that he wanted to know where everybody was from? And we've got a lot of comments about that. Wow. It's insane. Like, wow. Yeah. Like, you guys are from all over. Wow. It just blows my mind how just a simple YouTube video can get out to everybody around the world. I don't have to travel because you're all here. 
So, oh, let's try that again. There we go. Um, yeah, so just a postcard with something that says where you're from. That would be awesome. And then when I get my room done, I can post, I can put them all over the place. Yeah, that would be cool. Yes, let's do that. Okay, um, I would like to do a couple of shout outs because I have been getting messages from these people, really wonderful messages. And they're saying, I have a channel, but I'm only at X amount of subscribers, right? Well, you know, like we always like to spread the yarny love. So let's do that. Uh, and I'll put the, all the links for their channels down below. Uh, I would like to give a shout out to Lily Crochet Fashion Hall. A lot of us already know Lily. Uh, she makes the most amazing um, outfits. Like, oh, I wouldn't have the patience to do the stuff that she does, but she does some beautiful work. Some beautiful work. You got to go check her out. Um, and then Karen Pruden. Pruden? Yeah, Pruden. Uh, she had contacted me and said that she had a channel and that she didn't have very many subscribers. So let's go check her out and, and boost her. Okay. Uh, yarn it out. I love that name. <laughs> yarn it out. Yep, that's what we need to do whenever we're angry or sad or, you know, just having, whew, I'm having a hot flash right now. So I got to be taking this off. Holy man, that's warm. Whoo! <laughs> I had no idea how, how warm that thing was going to be. <laughs> wow. Um, so what was I saying? <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> oh yeah. So whenever we're angry, when anxieties, fidgety, whatever, yarn it out, right? Just start crocheting and winding balls up or like something like that. You know, just yarn it out. Whew. Um, yeah, good, good. I love that name. That's a good name. Good job. Okay, I've been getting some comments from you guys about new um, new names for. Oh, now I got. I love my latte cakes, but I don't like eating it. <laughs> um, so I got some names for my segment picked. Uh, uh, I'm writing down a whole bunch of different names and stuff, so I still have to pick something. But yarn o'clock somewhere, that was really cute. Um, yarn booty, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yarn fairy. Now I've had a few people say stuff about fairies because, well, you're always hearing the fairies, right? And I thought George was saying that would be great because then you could do a play on words like the fairy the, that flies and no, you know, mythical characters. We all know that's mythical, right? Yeah. Um, so, you know, we thought, yeah, that would be kind of cute. Holland balls. <laughs> I laughed so hard when I saw that. I mean, that was hilarious. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, it's a yarn day, eh? Love that. That's cool. Yarn stash, eh? I can see that the Canadian A is going to be a thing here. Uh, the yarny B stash. I think that's really cute too. I think uh, that yarny B is going to be our mascot. <laughs> so... I think, yeah, maybe that's what I'll do is I'll make that because we're yarn bees, right? I think that yarn bee is going to be a, a hit. It's going to be our mascot. Well, bless you. <laughs> yeah. It's, hey, any of you that know how to do amigurumi that can figure out how to do that bee, hook a girl up because I can't do amigurumi for my life, but. Um, 
But yeah, that would be really cool. I'm thinking about going to Michael's today. Just to see what's going on over there. Not to buy anything. Really. <laughs> uh, not, I mean, I have a couple coupons. Yeah. Just saying. <clears throat> Don't tell George. Shh, it's our secret. <laughs> Just sitting there. Bella. Bella, Bella, Bella. Hi. <laughs> She's like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> She's like, I don't care. She's a cat. What do you expect? So we got to go this weekend to a friend, uh, to our, oops. Um, captain of our dragon boat team is having a year-end barbecue so I'm going to be making a rum cake yeah um, they love it when I bring treats <laughs> so why not put alcohol in it <laughs> we're not dragon boating right now it's all good can you imagine drunk paddling <laughs> Wow <laughs> oh yeah we'd never make our destination <laughs> so anyway um so things that i want to start doing z at z n r j uh, out of my head holy smokes you know z i'll put her link down below um she has this really cute um poncho like really light and airy type of off the shoulder poncho Seta's making one right now because Seta's going to be going to see her so i think that that video is going to be fun um <clears throat> so i've been wanting to make that and i just haven't gotten to it mm. That's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. A lot of people have been asking me, a lot of you have been asking me about how my uh, appointment went with my doctor and what, what prognosis is and everything. And uh, I was so messed up over the last couple of days, I completely blanked it and I forgot to tell you guys. I'm going for surgery. Yes, I am. Uh, she said it's anywhere from four to six weeks months to get on the list um for the surgery <clears throat> excuse me but i'm putting myself on the cancellation list so that i might be able to get in sooner uh yeah they she said that she found out that with my scan that i have arthritis in my second toe and so that's going to be a little complicated. Uh, what I didn't realize, like I knew that th that toe, she was going to shorten it because that's my longest toe. It's really weird. I know it's, I'm going to be lopsided now. <laughs> I'm going to have one long toe on one foot and one short toe on the other foot. <laughs> but um, she said that she has to shorten that one. And she's not going to be able to do much about the arthritis, right? And it's probably going to just get worse. But considering the pain that I'm in anyway, it's like whatever. The first toe, my big toe, I didn't realize this, but she has to take some bone out of that one too. Ooh. So she's also got to take the bunion off and she's got to straighten, she got to take the, some of the bone off to straighten the toe out. So yeah, it's going to be a long haul. The healing time for this is long. <clears throat> Ugh, excuse me. I'll get into that in a minute. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be off my feet, like off, off, no weight bearing at all for six weeks. 
minimum six weeks. Then I can start, you know, kind of, she's going to put a walking boot on me or something or change the cast up or something. I, I can't, I don't know. Uh, and then it's going to be like another 12 to 16 weeks with that. She said it's probably going to be a year before I'm walking normally again. I wasn't walking normally before. <laughs> so, oh well, whatever. Uh, I, a lot of you have been sending me messages and telling me that, you know, someone you know has had the surgery or you've had the surgery and letting me kind of know what to expect. Um, which is really nice and scary all at the same time. <laughs> but the majority of you said that you would recommend the surgery. So, uh, yeah, I decided that I'm going to do it. George is pretty happy, but I'm telling you, he won't be happy once it's done because I won't be getting up and making him meals and catering to him. And, you know, he's going to have to cater to me now. <laughs> Which, you know, it's great. Builds character, right? <laughs> uh, oh, there's a fairy coming in, so you might be hearing something. So this is the view that we have from our window. And you're going to see right about here... The ferry is going to come out. It comes around here, past this tree. I wish this tree wasn't here. Oh, there it is. And it comes out and around. And right down here, behind all of this, is the ferry terminal. So that's, that's what we get to watch every day kind of wishing that they'd take that tree down so that we'd have a little bit more of a view but it is what it is it makes a really short uh, like a tight turn before it comes in because there's not a lot of room over there for a ferry So that's what we get to look at all the time. And that's why you can hear, <laughs> Wait, let's try that again. That's why you keep hearing like the horns and stuff is cause like it's right there. So it's actually a lot closer than what you can see on the video, but it's like half a block down. So uh, anyway, I got a, I went to the Michaels in Victoria while I was down there and I got another um, crochet magazine I think this one's from England it's called simple simply crochet and it comes with crochet edits and uh, so I went on line and I actually ordered the subscription so yeah West Yorkshire spinners yeah so it's an in, in, in ugh, from England they've got some great yarns oh man I tell you I would you know for any of my subscribers that are from the UK if you want to do a yarn swap let me know because man you got some nice stuff out there that yeah, it's just oh so nice but anyways I was looking through this and I thought wow there's some really nice things in here and it comes with patterns and stuff like look at this isn't that pretty like oh that's something Z would like like bright colors like that um, oh, isn't this adorable? <laughs> isn't that cute? Oh, so
so cute. Like, oh, I love this. Probably in a different color, but I really love that. And it doesn't look like it's very hard. It just looks like double crochets, maybe half double crochets with the, <coughs> the skip one, chain, chain two, skip one, kind of, or skip, yeah, skip one or skip two. So there's a lot of amigurumis in here. I thought this was really cute. It's a wall hanging. Would, I would do that in different a different color, like red and black or red and white or something for Canada. If I could make socks, I would make these. These are so cute. With the bobble stitch. Um, but I can't make socks for my life, so whatever. This is cute, it's got the granny squares on the top for the collar. Very simple shirt, but the squan, the, the, the squanny squares, the squanny squares, where did I get that? <laughs> the squanny squares. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, I, yeah, maybe I should have had coffee instead. <laughs> This is really cute. It's like a boho top. I thought that was really cute. And look at these. I There's a lot of cutting of yarn involved in this. But they're adorable. I, I can't, I would never be able to do that kind of stuff. And she made hearts too. But, I mean, there's a lot of cutting. There'd be f yarn stuff all over the place. Now, this is something I want to make. Isn't that pretty? I just, I would make it longer, though, just to cover my stomach. But I think that is so pretty. One hour later. I just got home and I just took the dogs for a walk and I went and got them some new balls to play with and I went to uh, Staples and everything and you know what? I found the cutest little thing that I am going to put in the prize for the name picked for our YouTube segment. Is this not adorable? It's like fun fur. You see? It's like, see, it's like fun fur, fuzzy. And it's a notebook. It's a lined paper, oops, notebook. And it's like that on both sides. It's like, oh, it's so cute, stinking cute. Look at the hair bands. Oh my God. I saw this and I had to get it. And I thought this is going to be part of that, that gift for, for picking a name or for giving us a name for our channel, or for, for our channel, for our segment in our channel. So yes, this is going to be part, part of the gift. It's just so cute. I just had to. It, did you notice that lam llamas are big this year? Like they're everywhere. Like everything you see, it's got llamas on it. It's awesome. We're getting recognized, guys. <laughs> so anyways, I just wanted to share that with you. And uh, I don't forget, I will be doing the draw tomorrow, for tomorrow morning for the 300 subscriber giveaway prize the big box of stuff so get your comments in on the on that uh that video i'll link that down below um 
Yeah, my next door neighbor, Marina's back. She was on. She was gone for like three weeks. Ooh. She went to Winnipeg, Winterpeg. Looks like they had a good time though. Uh, she's she's one of my my good friends, and it sucks because she's only been here for like a year. Like she moved in, say a year ago, year two years ago. I it hasn't been very long. And we become like, right, I bake for her all the time and she helps me out. <clears throat> she helped me with my disaster that was downstairs and, <laughs> and everything. So um, now they're thinking about moving back or they're moving down to the States um, for her husband's work. I'm so sad. She loves dogs. Like she's got, oh my God, she's got the cutest dogs. She's got two chihuahuas and one's black. His name is Samson and the other is Cindy. She's, she's gray, beautiful. She's kind of like my grandpuppy Diesel, same coloring, beautiful. Uh, and she was planning on breeding the two of them, but Cindy was like a pound and a half when she got her. Now she's up. I think she's up to four pounds now, and that apparently is the weight that you can breed them, but she's still so tiny. I can't imagine. Can you imagine the babies? They'd be like, like, oh my God, they'd be so small. Oh, it would scare me to death. But, um, so Bailey and Samson, they were like girlfriend and boyfriend, right? For the whole time that she's been here and like they just love each other but then cindy came into the picture and cindy was like all over samson and bailey was not happy not happy at all. so while they were gone ugh, i feel like i've got water in my ear uh while they were gone uh there's a dog that's just down the street yappy thing uh, it's almost like got terrier or something in it and yes I'm talking about you <laughs> she's got her paws on my lap she's going what what uh, she has made friends with this terrier this terrier does not like Samson so there may be a lover's rift going on <laughs> it's like oh my god <laughs> Oh man, I just, it's a dog's world, yep. <laughs> so yeah, but um, Odie doesn't care. She doesn't want any of them. She's just like, leave me alone, I'm old, I'm crotchety, go away, right? But Bailey, she's just all over making friends with everybody, right? There's a, a dog across the street, her name is Maya, she's, um, she was from Mexico when that whole thing with the rescues in Mexico happened. Uh, so she got Maya from Mexico. Sweetest dog. Oh, Bailey and, and Maya look a lot alike, except Maya's hair is a little more curly. So well-tempered, beautiful dog. And they get along quite well. So that's always nice. How did I get on to dog talk? Oh, because Marina's back. Uh, so, yeah, so I'm really happy. But now she's talking about moving. And I'm like, no, no. But anyway, I'm babbling now. So I will talk to you guys later. And if, if I decide to go to Michael's today, I might put a clip. Okay.